Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens Chapter 3 On the road to London Oliver didn't know where to go. He walked for a long time and he was very tired. He sat down on a milestone to rest. The milestone said, London 70 miles. London, he thought. Mr. Pumple can't find me in London. So Oliver began walking again. Oliver walked 20 miles the first day. He ate only one piece of bread with some water. At night he slept near the road. The next morning he was cold and hungry. He bought some bread with his only penny. He walked 12 miles that day. As the days passed, Oliver became very weak. A kind man gave him some bread and cheese. A poor old lady gave him some food and gentle words. On the seventh day, Oliver was exhausted. He arrived in a little town near London. He sat near the road to rest. Then a strange boy looked at Oliver and said, Hello? What's the matter? The boy had big ears and little eyes. He was short. He was Oliver's age. He wore a long man's coat and a man's hat. Oliver told him his sad story. Come with me, said the strange boy. I can help you. He smiled and took Oliver to an inn. At the inn, Oliver had bread, ham, and something to drink. I feel better, said Oliver. The boy smiled and asked, Are you going to London? Yes, answered Oliver. Do you want a place to sleep? Oh yes, please, said Oliver. I slept outside in the cold for seven nights. Stay with me. I know an old man in London. You can sleep at his house. Oliver was happy to accept his help. My name is Jack Dawkins, but they call me Dodger. The two boys walked to the big city together. It was almost 11 p.m. when they arrived in London. Oliver followed Dodger. He looked at the small dirty streets and the old houses. The ground was wet. Everything was ugly. There was an awful smell everywhere. Dodger stopped in front of an old black house. He and Oliver went up some broken stairs. They entered a, dirty, a dark, dirty room. There were a lot of young boys. There was an ugly old man near the fire. He had red hair and a red beard. He wore dirty clothes. He smiled at Oliver and said, I'm happy to meet you. I'm vegan. Oliver looked at all the handkerchiefs hanging in the room. Vegan said, We washed them. Now sit down and eat some sausages. Oliver was happy to eat some hot food in a warm room. He soon fell asleep. The next morning Oliver woke up late. Vegan prepared a cup of coffee. He turned around and looked at Oliver. Oliver closed his eyes and he didn't move. Vegan thought, Oliver still asleep. So he took a box from a secret place in the floor. He put the box on the table and opened it. He took out many beautiful watches and splendid jewels. Suddenly, Fagin saw Oliver wake up. Fagin quickly closed the box. He was angry and said, Why are you awake? I'm sorry, sir. I just opened my eyes, said Oliver. Ah, did you see those pretty things? asked Vegan. Yes, sir, said Oliver. I am an old man and they are all I have. Now go and wash your face. Oliver thought, Vegan must be a miser. He lives in a dirty place and has many jewels. At that moment, Dodger and his friend, Charlie Bates, arrived. 
They all sat down and had breakfast. Did you boys work this morning? We can ask it. Yes, we did. Look, here are some wallets and some handkerchiefs.